Coming up on District Wire Sports, Eagles edition. Who won, who lost, and who is on top of the Patriot League this season? And what does the future hold for AU Sports? Athletics Director Billy Walker is in the studio to tell us all about it. District Wire Sports, Eagles edition starts right now. Good evening, I'm Taryn Stansberry. And I'm Jonia Gronin. The AU women's basketball team remains undefeated after its second win of the season against University of Massachusetts Sunday afternoon in Bender Arena. The Lady Eagles held a large lead for most of the game with a 41.9 shooting percentage from the floor. Four players scored in double figures with junior Aaron Zimmerman leading the way with a career high of 15 points. The women's team travels to Maryland on Wednesday to take on the UMBC Retrievers, hoping to continue their winning streak. The women's volleyball team is celebrating another Patriot League regular season championship. The team swept reigning champs Colgate on Saturday afternoon 3-0 to clinch the conference title. Junior Christina Lindowska led the Eagles with 14 kills. The Eagles will host the 2013 Patriot League tournament this weekend. The wrestling team prepares for its home opening dual meet this Thursday after a loss against Virginia Tech on Sunday night. The men dropped eight of their ten bouts in the meet. One of the bright spots, senior Daniel Mitchell recorded a fall six and a half minutes in against his competitor in the 197 pound weight class. Tickets are still being sold for the Bender Takedown on Thursday night when the Eagles will host number 10 ranked University of Wisconsin. The season is over for the women's field hockey team. The team lost 4-1 to one to number 1 ranked University of Maryland in the first round of the NCAA tournament Saturday. The Eagles were ranked 18th. Senior Shelly Montgomery scored the only goal for AU during the first half. This was their first NCAA tournament since 2010. Men's basketball is off to a good start at home. The team won in overtime 63-61 in its home opener against University of Maryland Baltimore County Thursday night. Junior guard Darius Gardner scored 22 points and played all 45 minutes of the game. Sophomore Jesse Reed scored in the final second, winning the game for AU. Men's basketball will play the next four games on the road, starting with Ohio State on Wednesday. AU Athletics is heading in a new direction this year. At the forefront of these changes is newly appointed Athletics Director Billy Walker. Dr. Walker is with us in the studio today to talk about the direction he would like to take the Eagles this year. Welcome, Dr. Walker. Thank you for being here. Hi. Previously, you were the Deputy Athletics Director for the Air Force Academy. How is working for AU Athletics different? Well, it's, it's tremendous to have the opportunity to be the Director of Athletics. Uh, I had a, a, a great uh, opportunity at Air Force uh, um, to be the Deputy Athletic Director there and uh, learned, learned a tremendous amount uh, at that program and uh, worked with great, great people. Um, great young men and women athletes, but coming here was, uh, it was a perfect fit for me, uh, it, an institution that has um, primacy on, on academics, not just athletics, but also believes that athletics can complement that academic mission and compete at the highest level in Division One, and that's what we're doing here uh, at, at American and in the Patriot League, so it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity, and I'm really excited to be here. Um, so you mentioned, and Neil Kerwin actually mentioned this in his um, you know, speech when you were appointed, and you just mentioned it again that you, you know, firmly value um, academics as well as you know being an elite athlete. Um, is there anything that the athletics department, you know, has done or implemented recently to sort of help promote that, um, you know, doing well in academics as well as on the field? Yeah, no, I think it's it's mainly a, a continuation of what's being done and, and continual reinforcement. Um, you know, everybody that comes to this institution, that the the, uh, the coaches know that. You know, I've I've been able to hire for new head coaches as well since I've been here already in the seven months. So, um, you know, we've made sure that they are a good fit for this institution and they understand that, uh, you know, that athletics um, complements the academic mission. It doesn't overwhelm it. And, uh, you know, with th each of those coaches certainly understands it and the coaches that we have in place certainly understand that. So we're always going to keep uh, emphasizing that throughout all our programs. We have great programs in place um, that, that help our student athletes with uh, academics if they ever need need that but but institutionally more importantly we have support from from all the different deans of the schools and uh, the vice presidents and all the way up to president Kerwin. we have great great support for our, our student athletes to make sure that they that they uh, achieve in in, in academics as well 
What would you say is the greatest challenge faced by AU athletes or ath the athletics department in general? Well, sure. I mean, the greatest challenge for AU athletes is it's balancing a heavy academic load with with the demands of competing at the at the NCAA Division One level. Um, you know, but but that's why they're here. You know, they want they want to go to a school when they graduate that that degree means something, and that's obviously what they're going to get when when they leave American University. Same same degrees you you guys will have when you leave. You know, that's that that's valuable. So those are that's a that's a tough demand. You know, the balancing act to try to be competitive at Division One while still going to a, a high quality institution. As far as the department goes, like anywhere, you know, you're always you're always trying to improve your facilities um, and to try to to try to keep getting better in in all areas uh, with personnel and facilities and all those kinds of things so so you know we're always we're always looking at that as well right and um, how have you used your previous experience including you know your work as a coach and a teacher and as an expert on numerous NCAA committees um, to help grow the program here at AU well I think a lot of that is just the experience you gain you know uh, um, it, it is nice to have been a coach as well, so mm -hmm. I, so I, I relate real well to the coaches, at least understanding what they're what they're going through when they're recruiting, when they're on the road, when they're you know away from their families every weekend, uh, competing or, or on the road recruiting. So I understand that uh, uh, really well, um, and then just being at another institution that's like this. You know, a, a lot of people think, wow, Air Force Academy and American must be completely different, but they're really not. They're both the same kind of schools that that recruit high achieving student athletes and 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 young men and women that want to want to serve you know that that's that's the that's the common thread that I see here at this university is that there's a big component of service you know with the with the young men and women here that they really want to go out into the world and and be service service oriented to their communities to the to the nation to the world and uh, you know that's what the same kinds of young men and women that we had at Air Force well thank you Dr. Walker for taking the time to be in with us today that's all we have this evening for District Wire Sports Eagles Edition. I'm Joni Agronin. And I'm Taryn Stansberry. Thank you for watching. Go Eagles!